Hey guys, here is uh, my first war of the season and my first season war in noon. Uh, so this war we matched um, the guys who are not going to be pushing. They are a two BG ally who had had uh, kind of an artificially inflated war rating. Uh, so they're trying to tank so they can get out of master opponents. Um, so we, I'm not, I'm not going to be trying too hard. This war, not gonna be crazy boosting or anything. I still want to solo all my fights though, because I still care about the streak and everything. But yeah. So first up, we have a Professor X on. Um, this is Node Six, I think. Oh wait, no, this is Node Three. This is a uh, Node Three Professor X. There's basically nothing about this fight. I you could definitely could have used Corvus. I just decided to use Warlock instead because he would cost less potions, and that's about it. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean. Uh, we throw this, and the fight's effectively over at this point. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, pretty much a knocking placement. And then the, next up, we have a Mixmaster Mordo that I'm taking with Warlock. So this was the fight that I was a little bit worried about. You know, I, I, I knew the fight was definitely going to be possible to solo. I didn't know how difficult or not it would be. Um, this time, the defender was placed with Sui's on. Uh, so this is not really a full test, but it kind of gives me the vibe of the fight and lets me know that, okay, yeah, this is probably going to be a pretty easy fight in season with, um, the defender having normal masteries and everything still. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, Sui's make, Sui's on the defender make it absurdly quick, of course. And yeah. Uh, now, next up, to finish this war, I just have three pretty easy Corvus fights. Now this Black Widow that Blue Archon, I just want to get her to evade me. Uh, this is just so I can get my charge. I mean, the extra charge, it doesn't really matter, but I want it uh, regardless. And I popped a combat regen because it was expiring and it would mean I don't have to use any potions. So yeah, we bait the cell one. Thankfully she throws it immediately. And yeah, we're just gonna try and get her to evade now. We get an evade, so we just immediately throw that special two. We get our charge, of course, because special two basically guaranteed a knockdown with that. And yeah, uh, we're gonna throw our next special two, and this fight will be over. And then uh, next up, we have a cable on node 44. Um, really easy fight with Corvus again, of course. I mean, basically everything with Corvus is easy once you're ramped. Conduit doesn't really matter here because, I mean, Corvus isn't really affected much by Conduit in the first place, even in a fight where your L2 doesn't immediately kill, but in this fight, my L2 is just going to immediately kill, uh, which certainly makes things easier. I made this L1 just in case the power gain or anything happens. You definitely don't have to do that, but I did anyway. And yeah, next up, I have a 55 Penny. Now, I'm not going to have a PS1 or a White Magneto pre-fight for this. Um, so I mean, it's certainly not as nothing of a fight as it normally is, but then the defender was placed with Sui's anyway, so, again, nothing fight. Um, but yeah, Corvus is the hard counter to this fight, pretty much, because the shield is just a non-threat, and of course he's cosmic, uh, which is really nice. Uh, for brute force and everything, even though it's never going to really matter when you're using Corvus, and yeah, no... We want to uh, just get some combos going. You, she's already, I mean, pretty much dead at this point. So, yeah, I just throw my L1 here. Might as well get a little bit of extra damage off. I thought it might kill because since I had three out of three recoil on, but it did not. And yeah, um, now um, I got sent um, some R4 Gallon fights uh, from one of my buddies. Um, I played with him back in two one four PS a long time ago uh, we were in the same bg together i think it was i think i joined that like two years ago or something at this point long time ago but yeah he reached out to me and sent me some r4 gallon footage to show you guys today in line sort so first he has this um hulk buster on uh path three section one you know uh fights like this that really feed gallon with the armor ops and um, I believe this one also had power burn on the defender, which is part of the reason why he goes so crazy. As you can see, he's gonna 
get a lot of extra charges. And apologies for the poor quality of this video. It was sent over online, so you don't get the full quality of the video from sending videos online, of course. But yeah. As you can see, Gallon has pretty much his full ramp already going. And, I mean, he's doing a lot of damage, even just on his basics, of course. But uh, when that L2 gets thrown, uh, Hulkbuster is just going to immediately die. Uh, and yeah, that happens right there. Uh, even through Conduit, it doesn't matter because he's just immediately dead, so Conduit doesn't come into play. And then he's got this Guardian on the same node 3 section 1, I mean, on the node after in node 3 section 1. You've got the Power Burn again, so Gallon's just gonna go crazy with the Power Burn, feeding everything he has. And yeah, I mean, you can see those buffs are just going up like crazy. And yeah, I mean, at this point, you're pretty much ready to just throw a special and win this fight, because Gallon really is crazy in these matchups that are specifically good for him, especially with this new Path 30 Section 1. It really seems like a band we're trying to make Gallon work in the war meta with this new path, because it is just picture perfect for him, really. Um, yeah. And he's just baiting a special one right here. He eats it. Uh, but you can see with all that energy resist, it didn't even matter that he ate it. Uh, because those energy resist buffs just make you super tanky. And then you throw your special two, and again, Conduit is not going to matter. The fight's just over like that. And now here is a um, Power Snipe Penny. Uh, which is one of the fights that um, it definitely seems like Again, Gallon was built for with the Nullify Immune and with Power Snap Pennies being super, super common placements. Um, so, yeah. I would assume the plan here is really to just um, hit into her auto block to feed your charges a bunch. I don't remember how this uh, fight went from the video, but I do remember it going a little bit poorly for, uh, compared to the other fights, but it, I mean, Gallon just being that crazy tanky is going to be perfectly fine even when a fight goes poorly. So yeah, you can see, of course, the auto block is still happening, um, but you're not getting power drain from it, so you're not really taking the damage from it. And then she resists that uh, heavy, which stops him from going into planetary. Uh, oh, not planetary, might into the harvest. I mean, and yeah, you can see this L one L two just does almost all of her health. Uh, which is crazy, just having a mini like that with Outlast, especially. And then you can see he's into a pretty tricky position now. He, he just pushes her to her L3. Not ideal, of course, but uh, Gallon has a bunch of resistant buffs, so we'll see how he deals with this. He's gonna, I mean, he's gonna take a good chunk of damage, of course. It's an L3, but uh, even that, with unboosted, he just survives it with those resistant buffs resistance buffs which is crazy and then yeah i mean uh, i believe he built two and all three of his own at this point and threw that off so i mean this fight definitely got slowed down a lot by that l3 of course just getting you out of the cycle but i mean gallon is just so extremely tanky and the damage is really fantastic so i mean it's it's pretty clear he's going to become a meta alliance or attacker basically as soon as people are getting him uh, which is great. Um, I am currently saving for the next feature. I really hope I can get Gallon because Gallon is so good. Gallon and Quicksilver for that next feature. I'm really hoping we can pick up. But yeah, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed these fights uh, from Cylonic. And yeah, thanks to him for sending me these.